The worst advice I've ever fallen for in business is actually the most common, and chances are you're falling for it too. Probably the biggest lie in business is that growth equals success. You know, when I launched my primary business today, we went from zero to just shy of $20 million in revenue in our first year. And of course, we were idiots. We thought we were successful. We were there, you know, pumping our fists in the air saying, wow, look at what we did. Almost multiple eight figures in our first year. But little did I know that that was about to cause a bunch of problems that would eventually come back and haunt us. About a year later, I was there sitting, looking at the numbers and paying attention to the key metrics of the business. And I realized we had a big issue because of my background in marketing and sales. I was more focused on acquiring customers and selling to those customers. And I had taken it for granted that my team was going to be just as dedicated to customer satisfaction and customer retention. But it turns out that wasn't the case. In fact, what I saw was that if we didn't change something and change it quick, eventually our attrition was going to catch up to our acquisition, meaning that we would only be bringing people through the front door at the same rate that they were leaving out the back door. Now you might think that a business in that situation is kind of like on a treadmill or a dog chasing its tail, but in fact, it's much worse because all of those people leaving out the back door that are unhappy, well, they're out talking about you in the marketplace and no amount of revenue can help you outrun your reputation. That's why I think that revenue is really just entrepreneur point. No amount of revenue can fix a bad reputation, but a great reputation can fix almost all of your revenue problems. So in 2018, I bought out my business partner and I immediately began trimming back the company. We cut down to almost half, almost half of the revenue and got rid of a little over half of the staff. And for the next two years, we stayed narrowly focused on streamlining our operations, building out the proper organizational structure, hiring some of the best talent in the marketplace to come in and help fix the issues, and really making sure that the business was optimized and running efficiently before we started scaling back up. Now, a few years later, we've scaled up to, you know, past our original numbers. However, some of my competitors, you know, they've quote unquote surpassed us. At least you might think so. But here's the thing is what I know that they don't know is that they are playing a game that it will ultimately result in their demise. Meaning because they're still focused on revenue, they keep trying to pour more water into a leaky bucket, eventually thinking that somehow that thing is going to set sail for a new land, right? Not going to happen. Instead, the real value of a business comes from multiple factors. In fact, if you look at private equity, they really measure it based on five factors. There's financial capital, human capital, structural capital, customer capital, and social capital. Now, this video is gonna be outside the spectrum of explaining what each of those five factors are, but here's what's important to know. The financial capital, the revenue and profits of a business, at best, it only makes up for about 40% of what a business is ultimately worth. That means that most entrepreneurs are leaving behind and not paying attention to the things that actually make up the majority of their enterprise value. And that's why most businesses don't stand the test of time in the long run. So sure, in the short run, it might look like some of my competitors have passed me up, but in reality, success is a marathon, not a sprint. The real question is who's gonna be standing here five years from now or 10 years from now or 20 years from now and beyond? So if you're one of those that has fallen for the myth that growth equals success, well then, I hope that this is your wake up call. I'm sharing one of my biggest mistakes here with you in hopes that you can learn from it and don't have to repeat it. And by the way, if you like content like this, then make sure that you hit subscribe and hit that little bell notification so that you get notified every week when I drop more content like this. And in case we haven't met, my name is Kyle Kanai. I'm an entrepreneur that got started a few short years ago while working in a coffee shop for minimum wage. And today I've gone on to create multiple seven and eight figure businesses. I say that so that you know that everything I share on my channel comes from the real world applied knowledge of the things that have helped me create those results and I share them here in hopes that they help you create similar results. So go ahead and subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and make sure you watch the next video in the lineup that's gonna go much deeper on topics like this. I'll see you there.